Well London. 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 The Well London program. This is Well London. that previously there was no activities, it was dead. And the good thing about the London activities is that people come together and they start speaking together. And the most of the activities is run by the local community. I mean, I literally know most of the people on the estate. Now, I feel like I'm, I belong. I feel like I'm part of the community. We are like one big family. I just want to say, well, London's doing a great thing. They're doing a lot of things over different SOAs. I think it opens up people's eyes and gives them lets them have a, a better style of life. I think it makes you feel more comfortable in your own environment because once you know everyone around your area, it's a much better community. So they're building community, so I think it's great. Sometimes, you know, you, you hear about lottery awards and you wonder what's happening, but it's been good to have been right at the start of this project and to see how Well London are actually positively making a difference. Well London is a very different way of working and we're working with people in 20 of the most deprived communities in London at the very local level to improve healthy eating, physical activity, mental health and well-being. And also we've brought in themes looking at healthy spaces, about the environment within the communities that people are living, and also recognising the impact that culture and arts has on people's health and well-being. When we designed the project, we took account of the evidence that local social, economic and physical environments provide strong barriers which prevent people from adopting healthier lifestyles and leading happier lives. We realised that we needed to transform the environments and the communities themselves to be successful. We set out to build networks and structures of mutual support by helping people to organise around common problems which affect their health and well-being. Fundamental to the success of the Well London approach are what we call Heart of the Communities projects. This set of projects includes the Well London delivery teams. These are sets of local volunteers who we recruit and train to act as community champions and to signpost other residents into the programme. I approached the residents about the fact that we were going to develop some really positive projects together and that they were going to be involved in shaping those and making changes to their own communities from the bottom up with their own ideas. We're here in Pocket Park which will be developed by Groundwork who are one of the, uh, the, the partners for Well London. But it used to be a little playground sort of thing where everyone used to like play around. All of a sudden they changed into a dog's park and then it's like now it's kind of dead. We are uh, encouraging people to take better care of their health and well-being, so be that physical or mental health. Uh, all these projects are coming from the community. I mean, you see the amount of people that have actually supported today. I mean, it's cold, it's dark, and it's a small part that's right shoved in the middle of a street. Nevertheless, the residents have come out to support, so I think it's just a testament to them as to what they're achieving. We're aimed to recruit um, volunteers from the SOA area. We, we aim to, to recruit five to ten volunteers, but we ended up recruiting almost 35 volunteers. I'm Gail Burgess from London Sustainability Exchange. We led on the health eating element of Well London, which was essentially two programmes, Eat Well and Buy Well. Eat Well is about encouraging people to eat more healthily. Buy Well is about enabling them to do so. We benefited in particular from the fact that the delivery team was a really effective way to, to kind of spread the word around the, the healthy eating work, really kind of establish a positive vibe, establish a credibility to new audiences around why healthy eating was a good thing to get involved in, and just get people to kind of take it seriously and think it was something they could benefit from. Quite frequently health is looked at treating disease and not necessarily of promoting health and well-being. So having these key members of the community who are championing for the health and well-being of other residents who they can open up to, who they recognise and know as familiar faces, 
you know, is, is an amazing feat. I feel that well, London's acted as a catalyst to try and improve the health of the area. And they show that by being able to recruit people to want to be health champions, taking an interest in their own health and improving the health of people in the local community as well. And this has led to an explosion of volunteering in the areas we've been working in. And in some cases has allowed the people that we've trained to find new employment. We've managed to connect also organisations in ways that those residents can be supported to do the work they want to do. What we've really found is that if you give people a chance to really air their concerns and their issues and actually give them the support to further their ideas, you can watch people then take it forward, but you just have to give them the confidence and develop that trust in them to do it for themselves. This used to be uh, a disused tennis court. As far as I'm aware, it wasn't used for about 20 years. It's completely overgrown. We've transformed it into um, a garden where people, local residents can grow their own fresh fruit and vegetables. There's 48 plots and over 100 people have access to this site. Well, when we picked up the keys on, uh, at the end of October, uh, the plot was still empty. It was still a, it was a shell with, um, you could see the ground of the uh, old tennis court underneath it. It's amazing what's happened in just a few months. We live just doors away, streets away, and we'd never interacted before. And now we've got this common ground. The plot holders have just run with it and they've made it the special place that it is. It's, it's beyond all my expectations how successful this garden is. Real things happen as a direct result of making connections. So that is, is, I think, one of the really powerful things about Well London. High levels of positive mental health are associated with improved physical health, increased life expectancy, higher educational achievement, reduction in unhealthy lifestyles and improved productivity. In short, mental health is a foundation upon which our well-being is built. All the Well London projects would have some kind of impact on people's mental health and well-being. For example, uh, projects that tackle physical environment will have an impact. There's growing evidence that suggests access to nature and green spaces acts as a stress buffer. Um, and so the Cook and Eat programmes or Be Creative, Be Well all will contribute to people's mental health and well-being. Be Creative, Be Well brings local artists and residents together to develop and deliver projects based on the health needs identified by communities through the community engagement process. Be Creative, Be Well is not just about making art or learning a new skill. It's about positively affecting participants' well-being through creative relationships. This has actually brought different groups of people together who actually have never really sort of talked to each other before. We've had kind of quite intimate talks, considering we don't know each other. It's quite nice to be able to come out and meet people, because I think once you stop doing that, you get too miserable. At its heart, it's about creating a space where people perhaps who don't know each other, of different generations and cultures, who would not otherwise meet, but they can get to know each other through taking part. Each of the partners who are delivering projects and programmes in their specialist areas are really pushing the boundaries of conventional ways of working to improve health and well-being, whether it be physical activity, healthy eating, working with young people to make sure they're involved. There was also the World London World Cup, which included young people from each of the 20 areas, and young people were very much a, a central part of the development and design of that activity. I see a lot of the work that Well London do from day to day. They all do a lot of work for, for healthy eating as well, and it really comes together in events like this, as well as the kids playing football and enjoying it. You're giving them lots and lots of information about healthy eating and, and what it means to stay fit and how it's going to affect their lives. We learn about fitness. Like, we didn't know like two percent. if you're 2% dehydrated, you lose 10% power. So that, that helps us in football-wise. It will help us in all, all sorts of sporting aspects. We learn about broccoli and stuff like that. That gives you more nutrients and stuff in your body. So it leads us to live a longer and healthier life. We were really keen to, to try to take advantage of the link between healthy eating and sport and you know reach a new audience of young people who actually may not have a great impression of what healthy eating is. So a very effective intervention, really pleased to be able to do that. The Well London model is really working and it, you can really see that it's starting to transform the lives of, of people who are getting involved in the programme and rippling out to the wider community. We really need to make sure that we take that model and we see how we can apply it in other areas uh, so that we can improve health and well-being in, across the borough um, in, in a sustainable way in the future. 
Evidence that the Well London approach is having a significant positive impact on participants in the target communities is emerging from the comprehensive evaluation that's running alongside the programme. The Well London approach is highly transferable to other communities and we're actively working to ensure that the potential to roll out the approach across London and beyond is realised. Well London has really provided the mesh to bring us all together and the contacts that we've made are uh, invaluable and will be the legacy, I think, of the Well London project. Well London is a village in London, the village life that I've always longed for. Well London has shown that if you kickstart the process of letting communities take responsibility and control, then you build new friendships, networks and structures of support which are essentially self-sustaining. These transform people's attitudes to themselves, to each other and to the places that they live in. I'll just recommend Well London to anyone who's sitting out there who's not doing anything for their community. Uh, I will not mind to go door to door, street to street, town to town and talk about it. And this is the result. When you take a tiny amount of money and put it in a place where the soil is fertile, in a place or an environment where people are willing to make these changes, it does work.